Hi and welcome back to another tutorial. In this one we are going to recreate this outer rim for uh, car wheels. So uh, we are going to look into how we can set up uh, uh, our reference image, how to set up our units and to just create uh, a real world measurement uh, car rim, outer car rim. So let's get started. So first of all you need to uh, go to internet and just find uh, some reference images for profile of your car rim. So just type in car rim reference image and you might find something like this or something like this. Uh, this is the car rim, uh, how it looks like if you cut across and this is the profile of it. Then you can also uh, find some measurements for uh, different rim sizes or you can visit the webpage wheelsize.com and here you have uh, by vehicle, by tire size or by rim size. So you can actually uh, select exactly uh, what you are looking for and you can see the rim width the rim size and these are real world measurements so after you do this you can see on which cars can this be uh, found so this is a really nice web page so wheelsize.com so first of all I'm just going to uh, go to create cylinder and I'm just going to create a cylinder under customize unit setup I'm going to select standard uh, fractional inches one by one and going back to a modify I have cylinder select now you need to uh, know this uh, when you look up and the sizes of your rim uh, they are measured from this side all over to this side and when you type in the radius the radius is just this uh, this value so the half of the diameter so if you want to 24 inch wheel you need to type in 12 inch and just press enter and on the height I'm just going to use 7 uh, 7 uh, inches and the height means width of the model so this way I just created a basic reference image then I just press W on the keyboard and right click on all these values so the model is dead centered and then on the left view I'm just going to create a plane that is approximately the size of the car rim or a little bit uh, larger and on the front size I'm just going to push it to the side and then pressing M on the keyboard I'm going to select an empty slot for material and under the fuse I'm going to click here where it says none bitmap and then just go in and find find the reference image that you are going to work with then go to parent and then click show shaded material and viewport and have the plane selected and just click unsign material to selection and it will apply material to the selected plane then just resize it so it covers the reference object that we created so we don't uh, need to redo, uh, resize anything afterwards so this is pretty much it then just select the, the object that you created and delete it now you just need to recreate the shape of this profile so under create go to shapes line and just create dots and if you want to have it uh, straight so just hold shift and go down something like this hold shift something like this this shift this and I'm just clicking I don't want this to be uh, Bezier or some other form of uh, curved vertices so then just press 1 on the keyboard and, 
and then and then just select these two vertices press W on the keyboard press S to snap to turn on a snap tool and if you right click on it you should have vertex selected and then just move it up and align it to these parts and do the same for this uh, and you are pretty much done now you need to add a lathe modifier so just type in lathe and under x-axis and click here on this plus sign and select axis press W on the keyboard and just pull it downwards until you are in the center of the of the reference image just uh, press alt X on the keyboard to make it uh, see-through and as you can see this is the center of the car ring alt X to go back out of the see-through mode press P on the keyboard to go to perspective view and now as you can see we need to add some additional segments so I just maybe 48 segments and if I turn on by pressing F4 or if it doesn't work just type click here on plus sign and display selected with edge faces should be turned on so uh, by pressing F4 on the keyboard I can see how many polygons and edges I have and this looks uh, pretty nice and because I have these uh, vertices at the beginning hard edged it created only one edge is which is exactly what I want so I just click here and right click and collapse to and right click and convert it to editable poly now press 2 on the keyboard and just select all these vertices, all these edges because I want to show you what happens if you uh, apply turbo smooth modifier to this object now and maybe do iteration isolating display you can see it gets a lot of distortion uh, at the center uh, not so much at the edge because it's flat so we're going to fix this afterwards but now we're going to make sure these edges stay as they are here or at least a little bit curved so I just selected the all these edges let me just turn this to blue so we can see the selected edges more clearly and then just click on loop and as you can see loops are select and under edges uh, hold shift and click on chamfer and chamfer it a little bit so then just maybe type in point 2 and just make sure you have two connect edges selected and press OK now if we apply turbo smooth modifier we can see the edges are being curved but the but the shape of the tire rim is not uh, distorted as it was before so now we're going to delete this turbo smooth modifier and add a shell modifier and let's just go to customize unit setup go to millimeters and then just type in 15 millimeters or maybe 10 millimeters for the inner amount or this is rather outer amount but because the uh, polygons are probably flipped it uh, reacts as an outer amount so just type in the amount, right click on it, collapse to and now if we apply turbo smooth modifier we get some additional issue here on the edges that are being curved but before we can do anything we have to right click and convert to editable poly press 2 on the keyboard and just select this edge and on the other side again this edge and then click on ring so you get the ring of these selections loops shift connect two segments and then just maybe push them to the side a little bit and if we apply turbo smooth modifier with two iterations isolate display maybe just select a different color we can see we get something more looking like a car rim exactly looking like a car rim so just go ahead and maybe apply some additional uh, 
uh, chamfers to these edges and under edges to chamfer just type in uh, let's say 10 millimeters more 3 millimeters to connect segments and you get a lot of more sharper edge so this was a quick video how to create outer rim for your car wheels so subscribe to my channel check out the rest of my videos and till next time